Okay, welcome to GTI Spindle Technology. We want to demonstrate a video of a before and after. We took two of our balancing technology uh, balancing machines have just come out of storage in Michigan. Uh, we shipped them here to New Hampshire. You can see they're in very rough shot shape. Uh, both machines uh, have been pickled and put away. We are, uh, my partner here, Ray Sainage, and myself are going to strip these down and we are going to retrofit them for the iPad system. Uh, so all new electronics. The one that you're looking at right now actually had a phone booth sized electronics package, which we uh, failed to ship out here because it just didn't make any sense to bring it out here. But uh, the, the one on the left here is about a 500 pound machine and uh, zero to 500. Here it would probably be a zero to 350, 400 pound machine uh, with the different stanchions we have. And we want to give you a real look at what these look like when we started so that you get a nice picture of uh, what they look like. And maybe we'll be in shirt and ties at that time. Thank you. Welcome back to GTI Predictive Technology. We're here in our spindle lab. Uh, this is part two. Uh, part one you've just seen is the balancers that we received uh, for reconditioning. Uh, this is a balance technology probably from the late 70s or early 80s. Uh, and as you can see, we've completely transformed it, give it a fresh coat of paint, put brand new stanchions on it uh, to hold a shaft up to a couple hundred pounds. Um, and we've adapted the iPad to it. Um, we kept most of its uh, motor and uh, belt assembly all intact and we lost all of the, there was about a small telephone booth uh, electronics uh, display that went along with this that we completely removed, although we kept the motor and the drive intact. And what we've done is we've got an iPad holder here uh, and in my hand I'm holding one of our iPad vibration analyzers. I'm going to show you how our, our technicians or your technicians can slip this iPad into the balancer. We remove our vibration analysis kit by simply clipping off the, the back clamp, leaves us our iPad. We slide it into the mount, close it. It's got a lock key switch here so that it can remain in there while being used. And we simply plug in our toggle, uh, plugs us into our AB switch, our DAQ, and everything else operating on the machine. And what I'm going to show you here, I'm just going to run this. I've got this unbalanced already. Um, I put a weight at about 180 degrees or somewhere in that proximity. You can see the tachometer is working in unison in the back. And while it's running up, the tachometer is now going to find running speed uh, over its one times running speed peak. And it's going to give us a symbol. This is where your heavy spot is in the out position here. So let's correct that quickly. We'll stop the machine. Now I'm doing one plane at a time. This is capable of doing two planes at a time. So if you look here, I'm going to remove the weight that I added and I'm going to run this same unit back up. And we're going to see either we have a very residual amount of weight to remove or we will not see anything at all. With this little residual left, uh, rather than correct that in this video, what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to back out and show you two channels. So we're enabled to look at this same uh, target um, polar plot on both channels. So we can simply switch from channel one, and I'm going to go to plane two, which runs to the other side of the, uh, the right side of the shaft, or plane two. And you can see that's very good. We're at a 0 0.001 inches per second on that end. And we just have a little bit of residual at 0 0.0028 on this end, which we can rerun that real quick. It'll settle in. And yeah, about 2.6, we can make a mark and correction. And that's pretty much how the software works. Other than the reporting features, we can take a photo of our setup, uh, pretty much uh, email the uh, data right from the balancing machine or to a wireless printer in the shop. Um, so we've taken a 30 to 40 year old machine, reconditioned it with new electronics that also can be a vibration analyzer.